We went to the Eras tour and we kind of unintentionally got VIP tickets. When I say unintentionally, I mean that we never set out to be VIP ticket holders. But as you remember, the day that they released the tickets for Taylor Swift's Eras tour, Ticketmaster lost its mind. They were not prepared for the level of demand. And when my friend Courtney got on to buy the tickets, the only options left basically were nosebleeds or VIP. They did send us this box in the mail. And so I thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing and just show you guys what we got. We're really out here at Home Depot. proceed any further. As you can see, the box has all these cute little pictures of Taylor for the Aero store. Okay. Oh look, on the inside, you get more Taylor. That's exciting. I thought this was one poster, but it's actually an envelope holding other posters. This one, some really fun colors. Okay, these ones are, the rest of them are horizontal. That's kind of cool. Rainbow one. Ideally, you could frame them sort of like in a row. I think what I'll probably do is frame this with the other posters inside of it. like this this really cool canvas bag I think it has all the albums and then all the tour dates I don't really know what I would use this for but it's kind of cute this box it looks like the poster again on the back it says Taylor Swift the Eras tour cute it's like a little pin There's a bunch of little tickets and stuff. Okay, I think this is our commemorative, commemorative VIP ticket. Okay, oh, that's fun. That's what the front of it looks like. What the back of it looks like. Put that back very carefully. <laughs> I think this has a bumper sticker. Bumper sticker action. These little 
It's like a little set of postcards. I think that's folklore. If I'm honest, I get the design of folklore and Evermore mixed up a lot. Midnights. Here's an honestly unappreciated look. I feel like we don't appreciate Taylor Park, Trailer Park Taylor enough. I saw the 1989 tour for my 17th birthday, I think. Maybe it's my 18th birthday. It was absolutely magical. Red, that was an iconic time. I remember when I was like in eighth grade listening to Red and being like, yeah, I really relate to all of this. As if I had been through anything yet. As if I had ever touched a man. No, I had not in eighth grade. <laughs> Love it. Ah, oh, Queen Taylor, reputation classic. into the venue that all of the videos that we had seen telling people what to expect for the concert were kind of like essential basics of what you should know as a human being going out in public. I don't need to tell you how to act at the concert. Although I will say that there was one lady who was sitting in front of us and I remember at one point looking over and she was just like scrolling through social media on her phone, like not doing anything. I would completely understand if you had to answer an email or text a family member or whatever it is during the concert, but she was just like mindlessly scrolling through Facebook or whatever when she's sitting at the Taylor Swift concert. And I remember thinking, ma'am, like, when do you know that you have a social media addiction when you could be sitting in front of literally the most sought after entertainment in the world? You're gonna turn to some random little video on Facebook and be scrolling through that instead of watching the concert. Oh, honestly, that, that didn't blow my mind. was really memorable because of the fire. <laughs> and if you were in the stadium, the fire was so hot. You could feel it burning your face. And we all kind of assumed that they wouldn't use any of the pyrotechnics or any of the fire until the closing, you know, finale of the show. And so that was really cool when they came out during Bad Blood. <laughs> kind of agreed that Taylor seemed to be a little bit sad or maybe a little bit low energy at our concert. We were the second night of the tour, so we didn't know if they could be working out technical difficulties or what it could be. We saw the Eras tour before the news about Joe came out. And so at the time we didn't think that there could be anything that had to do with Joe. Um, it is possible that maybe she was a little bit more sad. My personal opinion, I've had a lot of people ask me to share my perspective on the Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn breakup. Honestly, I don't care that much. I'm not that invested in their relationship. That's not why I'm a fan of Taylor. I'm not saying that because like, I think that I'm a good person because I totally have been invested in Taylor Swift's relationships in the past. For example, Taylor's relationship with Harry Styles, I was invested in every single little detail of that collaboration because I kind of feel like the Harry Styles, Taylor Swift relationship is is somewhat real, somewhat an expression of their art, and they've used each other to kind of play off of as public muses. But as far as Joe and Taylor go, I haven't been that interested in following that relationship. I think it's been clear that Taylor has wanted privacy when it comes to Joe, and so for that reason, I just not really commented on it, I'm not really engaged with it online as much. I think that if we would have gone into the Eras tour knowing that Taylor and Joe had been broken up, like just broken up, I think that all of the publicity and media about the tour would have been about like, oh, how does Taylor seem after the breakup? You know, and if she would have been sad, then maybe they would have said, oh, she's sad because of the breakup. And we would have had a narrative about the opening weeks of the tour that would have been dominated entirely by the who is Taylor Swift dating narrative. For that reason, 
I think it's well within possibility that they have been broken up for a while and that the reason that she seems so chill and unaffected and she's going out and doing paparazzi walks the week, you know, the day after they broke up, I think it's probably because um, this is a PR move to release the timing when they released it. stadium was shaped is that we were slightly behind the curb. Does that make sense? If here, I'll use like a, I'll use like a little graphic demonstration. If this was the stage and this is the stadium, you know how it curves? We were slightly behind the curve. So we were on the side of the stage basically, but the way that Taylor did the monitors is she had monitors here and here and here. So you could basically watch the whole concert even though the proper view of the concert was over here. So anyway, all of my videos are from over here. Taylor's right here, the audience is here, I'm over there. I hope that, that makes sense. other Taylor Swift related content, more Taylor Swift type vlogs or vlogs, and um, subscribe to my channel for more super nerdy stuff like this. Oh, and then I also should do a plug for the most recent Archive Sunday clothing line. If you're new here, my small business is called Archive Sunday. We make these collages for your room. This is the Olympian and Athena aesthetic collages. And then we also have a new clothing line that just recently came out that's called the Main Character Collection. And we have quite a few pieces that are just perfect for Swifties in this line. So anyway, go check out our website if you want to support my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching this if you've made it this far. Thanks.